Hey guys, Gretchen here, Ricky Sigum, Sigum Ricky, Thus of Four, Angel Wings, um, Angel Wings. So, what do Angel Wings do? These Angel Wings dismantle energy blockages and they seal the energetic processes. I'm not sure which Reikis you guys have. Um, I usually use Amsui to seal most things, um, but Angel Wings is a, definitely a great one to seal things with. Angel wings are very, 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 very high vibe, as are all of the symbols in Sacrum Reiki. Sacrum Reiki is a high vibe Reiki. So keep that in mind when using Sacrum Reiki is you really need to make sure you do your grounding work. Do your grounding work. Anyway, these are primarily used to dismantle energy blockages and seal the energetic processes. The three main uses. Dismantle blocks and chakras. We just said that energy fields and channels you can use this in conjunction with other symbols which is recommended so if you feel like you have those crunchies especially in like that Ida and that pingala getting that um that nice left and right balance to go that will really help like start to circulate that energy in there um and the angel wings can you see those so I right there I have cha angel wings chokurette and the infinity symbol I know I'm quite the artist, be jealous. Um, anyway, so they, the, you can see the motion itself in the symbol, right? You see the spirals going, and we know what the spirals do. They start to clear out those chakras, those nadis, those dantian points, and really, really get the, um, those dantians in line, especially those big main ones. All right, the other, another thing that it does, that it does really well is, it is an energetic seal with attunements. Um, like I said, I usually use Amsui, um, as well as therapy sessions. So this is one that when you're doing Reiki on your people, it's a great one when you feel like you've done your due diligence with their chakras and the symbols and you're just done with it. Um, I always have my people check with their breath first as you see if they feel I've missed anything um, and then seal it so that you're not leaking any of that, that good healing work out. You want to keep that good healing work in. So this is a great sealer to seal, seal with those angel wings. Um, keep in mind, I am a hovering chanting Reiki. So a lot of times when you intone these symbols, like we meditate them, and if you're not a chanting Reiki, you're not saying them, right? I'm seeing things like Violet Flame of St. Germain and Angel Wings and all types of wackadoodle stuff to my clients. So I know it's not wackadoodle, but they're just like, what the heck? Because um, some of it sounds really cool, right? Hoka o eri eri, Murkafakalishma. We talked about how much fun I had with Murkafakalishma. Um, Shambhala, that makes sense, right? Chokure, that makes sense. And then you come out with motors and non. What? So, like, it's okay. I don't even know where I was going with that. I guess just that we all sound like crazy people. All right. Meditate. To use in distance healing to channel energy to your future and to stimulate your spiritual potential in the physical realm. So you use angel wings because they dismantle energy blockages and they seal the energetic processes. So using it in distance healing because of its ability to dismantle energetic blockages makes a lot of sense. Of course, you're going to use Hong Shao Seishan then to send that bad boy into the future and send it into the past. And like, again, we said, it's got those spirals and the symbols, so you know it's a big moving symbol. Um, and dismantling those energetic blockages because we're the ones that stand in our own way. Whether or not you like it, you're the one standing in your own way. I'm the one standing in my own way. Um, I have all the tools. I just need to accept the gifts and remove that blockage and understand that I am worthy of them and they need to bring me bring me my gifts all right so but it does help to stimulate your spiritual potential in the physical realm by dismantling those blockages all right dynamic energetic concept spirals so it dissolves the clogs residual energies from your system Seheki, we just said that. Seheki with angel wings. Seheki. That will do the release, block, and balance. Um, maybe add some Kriya to it or Rama. Um, angel wings. There's a, a writing release that you can do with angel wings too. 
So you're gonna get your piece of paper and you're gonna get your pen. Um, and keep in mind, this is vibrational and when you spell things out, it's a spell, like the word spell is there for a reason. So you write on the paper any situation you don't have an answer for um, and you feel like this is the reason that you're stuck. So if you like are like hardcore, hey, this is my situation, this is why I'm stuck and you, you're pretty sure this is exactly why you're stuck, um, then you're gonna do the angel wings writing release. You're gonna write out your situation on the paper and then after you write out your situation on the paper, you're gonna draw on the paper itself, angel wings, infinity, and choku ret. Um, so you'll do this bottom sequence down here. Let's see, angel wings, infinity, and choku ret. You see those guys? You'll write those on your paper along with the, hey, this is the situation I feel like I'm really stuck with, um, especially if it's something that you're ruminating on and you can't let it go. Write that down on an angel wing release with the symbol. Um, after you've done that, you're going to activate your paper. You're going to activate your palms, right? You're going to do your thing. Make sure you've done your Gokai Shan show and that you've taken care of yourself. And you get that energy going. You make that big, big Reiki energy and you make sure you have angel wings in there. And you make sure that you have infinity symbol in there and you make sure you have choku ret in there right and you concentrate on them and you get that really good meditation going and once you feel that big big energy you're going to put those reiki hands on that paper that has the coordinating symbols and you're going to activate the palms on the paper and transfer that sikkim energy to that paper so transferring the sikkim energy to that paper with that situation and the symbols written on there and now imbued with your energy, um, that will gradually unblock the situation and give you guidance for your best out outcome or for the best solution possible for you so that you don't have to go through an uncomfortable growth with that. So this is a nice way to do a fast growth without screwing yourself over again. Um, because we often hit familiar again and again and again because it's familiar even though you end up screwing yourself over it's like well but this is how I've always done things so well it, babe it's time to stop doing things that way right I mean you're here so clearly you want a little bit of a change um, so that is a really great way, way to use angel wings and a great way for your clients to use angel wings um, is that writing release so that works really, really well for those situations that you just can't, that you're just incapable of completely letting go. Um, we all have those situations that is, are really difficult for us to let go. We thought we'd forgiven, we thought we'd forgotten, we thought we'd processed, we thought we worked through and did our shadow work and all of that. Um, and in doing some of our shadow work, we may have re-traumatized ourselves, who knows. So this will really help with those big releases in a gentle way um, on the paper. So that does help get those get those big movements going, get those crunchies. All right, that's facet four. Um, like I said, I'll have those meditations out <clears throat> in the next day or two. Still recovering from that illness. So thank you for hanging around. Um, please hit that subscribe button for me. Think about becoming a member. We go live every Sunday, except the Sunday that I'm sick. So my little doodles, if you have extra questions for me, that would be an amazing way to get a hold of me. Um, yeah. Until next time, namaste. And please plant a tree for me. Be a rebel, dude. Plant an inner city. I'll see you soon.